Hey guys, so as you all know, I went on some diets and I ended up losing 40 pounds. I stopped dieting once I met my weight goals and I focused on creating healthier lifestyle choices and healthier eating habits. And I did all of that and I ended up losing more weight. So I just want to tell y'all what I've been doing lately. Okay, so the first thing I did was, of course, use thermogenic fat burners. If you don't know, thermogenic fat burners basically triggers your body to burn fat off. It boosts your metabolism and it curbs your appetite. So when I was on my diet, I took thermogenic fat burners like throughout the whole entire month and I felt like that's what really was taking all the fat and the weight off. So in the beginning of the year in like January, I was using OxyShred. Um, with OxyShred, you can take up to two scoops a day. So I was doing that. I was burning fat like crazy. I did have some mild side effects, nothing crazy and nothing bad, but it's just some things that I noticed. So when I would take the OxyShed, I would immediately start sweating bullets. Like, I don't know if that's like what happens when it's time to burn the fat off, your body just starts sweating, but I, was, I would sweat so much. I would feel cold and I would be shivering all day. Like even when it's really hot, I would be shivering. And I wouldn't feel hungry for literally hours. Like I would take my OxyShred at like 9.30 a.m. I wouldn't need to eat until like 7, 8 or 9 p.m. And I don't like to force myself to eat, but the OxyShred literally didn't make me wanna eat. And it's, you know, it's not healthy to not eat. And then I had an overwhelming amount of energy, like in a way, more than green tea, more than coffee, more than any of those caffeinated drinks. That damn OxyShred had me jumping off the walls. So I used the energy that the OxyShred gave me to start exercising. Um, to maximize the results of thermogenic fat burners, you should probably move your body. So that brings me to the second thing I did, which was cardio. So I've been walking everywhere lately. I would put on music, um, engage my core, and I would walk about 20 blocks a day. If you want my workout playlist, let me know. I got you. So... The third thing I did was drink more water. So when I was on my diet, I would drink a gallon of water a day. I still do that. I don't believe that everyone needs to drink a gallon of water to be healthy. I drink a gallon of water a day because I drink a lot of water. I drink more water than I eat. I feel like drinking a gallon of water a day just helps your body digest everything and remove the fat and make the bloating go away. So I drink a gallon of water a day. Um, it's really not hard. You just have to build the habit of drinking water whenever you get a chance. You'll be surprised by how much water you can consume in a day. Like if you get a gallon water bottle, fill it up and just drink mindlessly you'll realize you drink a whole gallon a few hours and then you can fill that water bottle up again and then drink more water. But don't try to drink a gallon of water in one sitting because you'll mess up your organs and it's not that serious. Like just do it naturally and make drinking water a habit and you'll be good. So the fourth thing I did was change my eating habits. I eat mostly protein now because protein keeps me fuller for longer and keeps that starving feeling away. I eat things like boiled eggs, green veggies, almonds, oats, lean meats, and beans. 
And the fifth and most important thing I did was I healed my relationship with food. So I figured out why I would overeat and I found out it was like an emotional thing and a boredom thing. I would be bored so I would eat because there's nothing to do in the house. I got all this food around. It's like might as well eat it. Then I would be emotional like I used to treat food like it was a form of therapy. Something to make me feel better when I'm feeling down. I heal from that and knowing the difference between hunger, dehydration, and boredom will help you eat less because your body isn't telling you it's hungry. It's telling you it needs some water. It's telling you it's bored. It needs to be stimulated. I learned to love veggies. Um, you can cook basically every vegetable and season it to your liking. I be seasoning my... I be seasoning my vegetables like it's chicken. I be having that onion powder, that garlic powder, that cayenne, that all purpose. I be having that paprika. I be having all of that, period. <laughs> um, I learned portion control. A good portion size is about a fistful of food. Um, so I haven't been eating rice or anything. Like for dinner, I usually eat like a green veggie and some meat and i would usually do like a fistful of everything and i listen to my body listening to what it's telling me it needs because your body will literally tell you what it wants if you want an in-depth video of how i heal my relationship with food let me know and I'll get that out as soon as possible. Try these things and let me know if it works for you. Hopefully everything made sense. If you have any questions, you can comment them below or you can DM me on Instagram. My name is TLC and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.